Everyone's favorite samurai, Hiroyuki Sanada, has been in the limelight lately for his upcoming roles. In an interview with Collider, the Japanese actor and martial artist talked about Bullet Train, John Wick 4, and Sonny Chiba. If you can't contain your excitement for either of these upcoming films, don't worry, neither can we. In this video, we'll be slashing our way through all the juicy deets that Sanada has revealed. Let's jump in. Firstly, Sanada revealed why he was drawn to the Bullet Train. There's a lot to like in Bullet Train, jam-packed with great action and direction. Action, the film is sure to leave cinema goers in awe, but Sonata revealed to Collider that he felt drawn to the film mainly because of its amazing script. The star of series such as Westworld felt like his character has his own story, background, and revenge story that will mix well together with the action. On top of all that, you've got some dark comedy, and it really seems like the bullet train's going to be a melting pot of different genres. We're not exactly sure that the more the merrier approach applies to film genres, but Sonata reassures the audience that that the script managed to find a great balance between the drama, action, comedy, and thriller aspects of it. This may also be because the film is adapted from a Japanese mystery fiction book of the same name. But still, adapting Japanese novels and manga series to the big screen isn't as easy as it may sound. We need only take a look at Netflix's Cowboy Bebop and Death Note series to realize that it doesn't take too long for a hype train to turn into a dumpster fire. Sonata thinks that a film like this is exactly what a lot of people have been waiting for, especially after the pandemic. We all know that cinemas took a big hit during the pandemic, and with restrictions now loosening, do you think the hype train generated by Bullet Train will be able to get people back into the theaters? Well, we're definitely booking our tickets to watch the film, not to the actual Bullet Train, if it were to ever exist. Moving on, the entire film was shot on a soundstage. One of the most intriguing bits of information that Hiroyuki shared during the Collider interview was that the entire film was shot on the Sony backlot. Yeah, there's no real trains in a movie titled Bullet Train. But it seems, with the power of great production and of course tons and tons of money, a soundstage can look like whatever you want it to. Sonata states that he was blown away by the train and platform, both of which were recreated on the stage. With both the detail and scale of the stage being similar to an actual station, the Westworld actor states that he often felt like he was really on a train during filming. And honestly, we can definitely see what he means. Just going by the look of the film from the trailer, it doesn't seem like they're in a studio at all. It's no wonder that so many of us are excited to catch our very own trip to watch the bullet train. Next up, we got a small crumb about his character from John Wick 4. Hiroyuki seems to have a knack for booking hyped action thriller films. The Japanese actor is also set to appear in John Wick 4 and gave us a small crumb about his character from the movie. Sonata adds that the film will explore his relationship with Keanu's titular character, John Wick. The actor actor, of course, has known Keanu for a very long time and thinks that fact will surely reflect on screen through their chemistry. He closes off that comment by calling it a big hint. While we don't exactly know what he means by this, we're sure it will only take a few days before someone on the internet has already created a 10 page long essay detailing the character's entire role in the film just from this one line. Gosh, we just love the internet. Finally, Hiroyuki talked about studying under Sunny Shiba. During the interview, Sanada took a trip down memory lane and brought us all along with him. He talked about working under Sonny Chiba, the prolific Japanese actor and martial artist who was among the first to gain stardom for his martial art techniques. Hiroyuki states that he had played the role of Chiba, son, in a film when he was a child actor at just five years of age. He then continued to work alongside him on various movies after that, even joining his action club when he was 13. Sonata states that he learned a lot from Chiba and we don't doubt him. Working under one of the greatest martial artists ever must have really been an experience of a lifetime. Next, in other news, Nope crosses $80 million at the box office, but faces a steep decline during second weekend. While Jordan Peele's latest horror thriller was attracting quite a bit of audiences during its first week at the cinema, it has now quickly dropped in popularity during the second weekend. The film earned only about $18.55 million over the three-day period, a drastic reduction from its first opening weekend of $44 million. In total, the film has managed to gross almost $80 million at the box office, which, let's be real, is no small feat. Jordan Peele is no stranger to his films falling off in popularity during the second weekend though, as a similar trend could be seen for his film Us back in 2019. After a strong opening weekend, Us saw a noticeable decline in the following one, although it was still marginally better than Nope. It seems cinema goers really collectively say, Nope, get out. As soon as that second weekend starts, at least when it comes 
comes to Peel's movies. Next, The Grey Man gets knocked off the number one spot on Netflix by surprise original film. The Grey Man, the Russo brothers hyped new movie has seemingly been taken down from the number one position on Netflix after just a period of eight days. And what makes this news all the more surprising is that it's been done by an original movie that no one saw coming. Talk about an underdog story. Purple Hearts, a new Netflix original, is currently the number one movie on Netflix, according to IndieWire. The film revolves around a Marine and a singer who get married for military benefits. But when a tragedy occurs, this leads to a rift between their relationship. Not to downplay Purple Hearts, but The Grey Man holds the title of being Netflix's most expensive movie ever. With a sequel and spin-off on the way, Netflix definitely expects it to do well. And while it did manage to do all right during the opening weekend, with its being second only to the Adam projects, it's still quite surprising to see it get knocked down from the first position by an original film that not many people have heard of. Guess Purple is the new Grey. Lastly, Stranger Things writers confirmed they won't go back and re-edit scenes. Stranger Things fans were scratching their heads over the past week when a rumor arose that one of the episodes from the first season of the show had been re-edited to make Jonathan less of a creep. If you're a big Stranger Things fan, you probably already know which scene we're talking about. Yep, it's the one where he creepily snaps a photo of Nancy while she undresses at Steve's home. Yikes, not exactly the best look for someone who's supposed to be one of the good guys. According to the rumor, the scene was changed to make it so Jonathan only caught a glimpse of Nancy undressing, but never actually took the shot. He instead lowered his camera and took a shot of Barb. This rumor started gaining so much attention that the Stranger Things writers had to take to Twitter to debunk it. They tweeted out that no episodes from previous seasons had ever been cut or re-edited, and they never will be. That puts an end to that rumor, but it did give rise to an interesting discussion that not many people have thought about before. With the age of streaming services, most platforms have the ability to simply go back and alter and re-edit scenes that they aren't pleased with anymore. That's kind of a dangerous power to have, don't you think? We're just thinking about how annoying it would be to remember a scene one way and then go back to rewatch it only to find out it's been changed. With a show as big as Stranger Things, it's likely someone would catch it, but chances are, with lesser known shows on these streaming platforms, many wouldn't even find out if something was altered. As they say, if a tree falls in the forest but no one's there to hear it, did it really make a sound? In modern times, we suppose that can be applied to TV shows now. If these shows get re-edited but no one's there to catch it, did they really get changed? Our philosophy major is finally paying off. That's a wrap for this video. Which of Hiroyuki Sanada's upcoming films are you most excited for? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.